Hey everybody, it's good to be back in the swamp, back preaching in the woods. That's where I want to be. But you know, if I thought there was a line down here, I would have come armed. I'd have come with one of my guns for sure. I wouldn't be down here unarmed. And you know, that may sound kind of funny, but the truth of the matter is we always try to prepare for danger, things that may be coming ahead of us. Many people are facing roaring lines right now, and you don't know how to handle it. It may be your marriage has gone bad. It may be an addiction, a lust problem. You keep falling into the same old junk over and over, no victory in your life. It may be financial problems, health problems. There's many roaring lines out there today, and they're, they're in our way, and many people have no victory over that. As a matter of fact, they get overcome by those lines instead of prevailing they end up losing. And I looked at the Word of God today, and I was thinking about some of the lines in my life, the roaring lines in my life that are trying to come against me. And the Bible tells me in 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 6, it says, Humble yourself, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, that He may exalt you in due time, casting all your cares upon Him, for He careth for you. Everything you have, cast it upon God. But then it goes on to say, Be sober, be vigilant. Because your adversary, the devil, is as a roaring lion walking about, seeking who he may devour. See, there is a lion that's out here today. There's a lion that's been fight, roaring at me the whole way down here because he knew I was going to come to you with a word from God. And that is the enemy, the devil. There's many roaring lions. I, I get all kind of messages. People are suffering through divorce or they can't get their marriage together, sickness, financial problems, you name it. And all of them are roaring lions. And all of us are trying to handle it ourselves. We're trying to do something within our own abilities to help it or overcome it. You, you, you send me messages. You say, David, help me. I can't help you. But I can turn you to the one that can. What I just read you says, cast all your cares upon him. You know, in, in the book of Judges, there's a man named Samson. Many people know about Samson. He, was, he had supernatural strength. God gave him supernatural strength. He had long hair and he was just set apart to do great works for God. But you know one of the first things he'd done? He was on the way somewhere and a lion, a lion, a roaring lion come out and stood against him. The Bible says two awesome things that I want you to get. If you don't get nothing else today, hallelujah, I feel the power of God. If you don't get nothing else today, get this. As he stood there, the Bible says the Spirit of the Lord come upon him mightily. Mm. He took that line and he ripped it into pieces. The second thing it says is he stood there empty-handed. Now get this now. He's facing a line. Life and death. The Spirit of God come upon him. Why? Because he was empty-handed. What's in your hand today? You're facing that line today. You're saying, okay, I've got my intellect. Let me figure this thing out. How can I get my wife back? How can I get my husband to come? Uh, intellectually, let me try to fit. What's the logic behind this? Oh, maybe it's education. You got so much education in something that you just can't seem to trust God. You think you're silly to just have faith. Maybe it's your own self-will, your own perseverance, your own pride. You say, you know what, I can do this. I can get through this. Everything I just named and many more are things that you hold in your hand. It's your weapon. It's, it's part of the flesh. It's just carnal. It's of this world. And you think you can defeat that roaring lion with your own abilities. Samson stood there and the Spirit of the Lord came upon him mightily. Because he was empty handed. Hallelujah. He stood and he knew that God was going to empower him to overcome. God will empower you to overcome whatever that obstacle is in your life. You say, man, I, I don't know. It's hard for me to let go. You know what? That's because you've got it holding your hand. You're saying, you know what? I can do something. You've got the wrench in your hand. Why don't you take your wrench off of it and throw it down and let God fix your marriage? Why don't you quit trying to figure things out or where you went wrong and let God just... Take care of your healing. Why don't you quit worrying about your financial situation and cast your cares upon Him and say, God, I can't do it. You already know it. There's nothing that you don't know. You've seen this before I ever was born. I trust you, Lord. And then watch the Spirit of the Lord come upon you mightily and slay that lion in front of you. Oh, the devil's real today. And he is as a roaring lion seeking who he may devour. But we have power. Power of the Spirit of God. The Bible says the Spirit of God will come upon us and raise up a standard against the enemy. Whatever's in your hand is keeping you from slaying that line. You need to throw it down. Maybe you're a preacher today, and you just can't seem to get nowhere with your church. Your church is not growing. You don't see people getting saved. 
Stop looking at mem- stop looking at all the little ministries you have in your hands. Stop looking at the things of, of the world, how to, how to blend things or attract people. Throw that junk down and just trust God. Jesus said, the Spirit of the Lord is upon me because He is anointing me to preach the gospel, to heal the brokenhearted. The anointing is all we need. Throw that junk down that's in your hand and watch God come upon you mightily. Maybe you're a teacher. Maybe you're a singer. Whatever it is in church or you just want to serve God, but there's something standing between you and Him. Whatever it is that's in your hand and you're thinking, I can do something with it. I, I, I is the biggest thing in our hand. Self. Throw yourself out of the way. Let God have His way in your life. Lost people. How many people do I hear from or I talk to and they say, you know what, I want to experience with God. I want God to save me. I want to be born again. I want to experience what you did, David. I want to know that He's real. I want to know that He loves me and I want to know I'm forgiven. But you know what? You got something in your hand. Good works. You think you can earn it. You think you can deserve it. Or maybe you got something you're looking at and saying, I can't lay this down because it's an addiction I have. It's something I can't overcome. It's something that I just, I don't, I'll pick it back up later. Throw it down. Trust God. He's the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. The same power, the same power that rose Jesus from the grave is that same power that's in you today as a Christian. It's that same power that comes to you if you're lost and draws you to the cross. Lay down self-will. Lay down your pride. And watch the Spirit of the Lord come upon you mightily today. I hope this blesses you. I hope it encourages you. And until next time, let the words of our mouth and the meditations of our hearts be acceptable in His sight. O Lord, our strength and our Redeemer, in Jesus' name, please share.